Greetings everyone, it's me Ashkava from Balloon Pictures, in case this is a new YouTube video, if not then we're continuing where we last le uh, left off. Um, with a di But we're gonna start the quest line for a dis dislocated disc, as a gesture of goodwill. Eternus has pledged her assistance in finding the disc that contains Tyr's memories. The infinites have devices that can aid in divining its location. To quote Eternus, This is a mestious maid. It is fair we can help clean it up. I feel some responsibility as well after our attempt to wake Tyr with the silver scale. Meet Eternus at Tyrhold. She will, br she will brief you on her progress. Now, our old friend will finally join us once more. Uh, perhaps now our... Be mindful of which threats you pull Like Straza requests my counsel on the business of the Incarnates, but I will join you at Tearhold shortly. Natu is here. Good. Chromie and I are discussing how we will find Tear's disc with your help. Krokos has constructed a blood horde gun rack. The fuck? Oh, that's the time way thing. Weird. I, uh, I knew you'd turn up eventually. Change is good. We meet again. Nosom said you would come. I welcome your aid. Question everything. During our long discussion about how to find Tyr's disc, Chromie and I agreed that you were the right person to help us. But finding the location of Tyr's disc would be very dangerous and would likely require more than just your help. While I work here to narrow down what we need to find the disc, Chromie can give you more details. We will meet again. Is this hello or goodbye? Oh boy. I keep losing track. Um, why is this the way it is? It's poopy. Okay. What Eternus has told me is fascinating. The infant's methods are like ours, but very merged our, uh, but they've merged our magic with tech from other races. Here's an example. Powerful bronze dragons, like Nostomu, can sense the time aura around people and objects they've come in, in contact with, like the silver scale. But doing that is fiddly over long distances and time. The infinites have beacons that detect those auras over the timeways, but it requires triangulation and chronom chrononormic flux combined with... Chromie notices your eyes are glazing over. Oh, listen to me, Gohan Don. You just want to hear about our plan, right? I mean, I would also like the details, because that's kind of cool. But also, yes, tell me about the plan. The timeways must be preserved. So here's the plan. We need three beacons delivered to three places, different places in the timeways uh, to, to tri triangulate the disc location. But these places are potentially dangerous right now, and right now, um, undetermined. I am still working on that. Uh, you're gonna need help, but I have just the paladin for that. Here's Trava now. I have retur uh, returned to fulfill my duty to Tyr at last. Okay, can we please get more voice acting? Sag. I mean, sure, this is way much story content than I could have dreamed for. Greetings. So I'm fine with it, uh, with uh, not uh, with having to read, but like, I would like to not read as well. <laughs> I would like to hear your. Gorgeous, amazing voices. It's good to see you again. I have hope that this time we will finally be able to restore Tyr's memory. 
May Tyr guide you. After the tomb was destroyed and the silver scale fail, failed to bring Tyr back, I made the decision to re rededicate my life to Tyr. And I made the even harder decision to leave the past behind and reforge Tyr's guard. I had faith Tyr would need me again soon. And after consulting with the Silver Hand, Kuranos and I believe we have found four worthy Tears Guard recruits. Come with me and uh, to Brackenhide Hollow, and assist me in their final training. Then we can venture into the timeways to find Tears Disc. Goodbye. Thanks for coming back so quickly, Tarvard. I didn't want to interrupt you training your recruits, especially since we need them now. Sending untested paladin recruits to set the beacons? This is the plan? Untested is not quite true, Eternus. My four recruits have gone through rigorous training. They are now ready to uh, for their last assignments in Brackenhide Hollow before they uh, become fully fledged members of Tears Guard. With Klanatu's help, uh, with Klanatu to help them finish their training, they should be just the help we need to deploy the beacons. Meet me in Brackenhide Hollow. We must make the recruits ready for the task at hand. I have the feeling it's supposed to be voice acted, but it's like bugging out on my end for some reason. And that was too close. The Tune. new presence is a blight upon our land. Church. Two knew then that he and Zakar, uh, Zakazaj, Zakaj were evenly matched. Then um, he gathered all the light within him and unleashed it at the Kathraxi, destroying him. But Tyr perished as well. He sacrificed himself for the requel. What a selfless thing to do. Oh, we have... Hadwin? Troll, orc, human. We're all the same, really. Wow. Hadwin, you're a goat. Ha. Huh. With all the tall tales Trava tells about you, I thought you'd be taller I mean to be fair you are <sighs> where's your outfit look where's your outfit look um infinite did you become a member of tears guard I'm not sure myself. Fell into it, I guess. Like I always do. My dad wanted me to join the Navy and my mom hoped I'd be a Tide Priest. But I'm cr crackling, uh, crackling good at swinging a blunt object. If I do say so myself. And I got on with the Order of, the, of Ambers when Lady Wakerest asked for volunteers to fight witches in Drostvar. Huh. That's strange as it see but strange as it seems. I started to feel a connection to the light working as an inquisitor. I can't explain it. I worship the Tide Mother. It caused me to seek out the Silver Hand and train as a paladin. But even then I wasn't satisfied. I came to the Dragnals to forge my own path and follow my own code, writing wrongs wherever I found them. Dravad and Karanos found me, and the rest is history. Why are you the Exemplar of Justice? What? You mean you can't tell? I'm in insulted I am. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. <gasps> if only we could tell who was just by looking at him. Right and wrong has always been important to me, even when I was just a lad. My mom ran a shop in Bridgeport. Growing up, when Dad went off to sea, local ruffians started stealing from her and harassing her. She tried to stop it, but the lawmen 
and town did nothing. I went hungry a lot growing up because of th that injustice. But what was worse was how it affected my mom. I resolved then to stamp out injustice wherever I found it. And that's what uh, what I've been doing. Probably just put a name to it. What? Not impressed by my sparkling personality? <laughs> I have found my purpose. To serve others by following Tyr. You all have freaking custom voice lines? Come, stand with me. I am honored to make your acquaintance, Knatu. Your reputation far precedes you. Karina seems fond of you. And Travad as well. How did you become members of Tyr... Uh, Tyr's... On Argus. We were always threatened by the Legion. I do not like fighting. But I became a paladin to protect my people. Oh, come on! You with your freaking mounts. I learned the ways of the light from a vindicator n named Deriska. She th Everyone deserves <clears throat> compassion. She Everyone. She taught me how to swing a mace, how to heal the injured, and how to face demons without giving in to fear. But I lost her. When I came to Azeroth, I was lost as well. Kravat and Karanos found me wandering the Dragon Isles, easing whatever suffering I found. Travad told me more about Tyr, and I n knew then I wanted to become part of Tyr's guard. Why are you the example of compassion? I am humbled the thought would give me that title. I guess this is all stuff that's happened at the end of the quest, but I really being but really being compassionate is the only way I can be. Perhaps I am shaped by countless years fighting the Legion. The Fell were no notorious for inflicting suffering wherever they went. I have seen much pain in my years. No one deserves to suffer. No one. And everyone deserves help. That, I suppose, is why I was chosen to be example of compassion. May Tyr take your hand. This tear thing is bigger than the both of us. Oh, hell yeah. I love that we get a Zandalari troll up in here. Come, stand nope. with me. Welcome, welcome. Come here, come here. Oh, I love her. You need your big sister's help? Just say the word. I love her even more. That is amazing. I also, it's kind of cool, but also with the, oh, uh, anyway. Predicting Bronze Somni connection because of all the bone armor. But, uh, might be wrong. We meet at last, Klanatu. Thou it has told me about all about you. I, th I, th I think that man has got, got as much respect for Tyr as he does you. Now... What do you need from Nolaki? How did you um, become a member of Tyr's Guard? I trained under our champion of the light, Ravani Kane. When Ran Ravani Kane fought in the Battle of Dazal, of Dazal Law, I stayed behind. I was young and green and thought I would make no difference. But when Ravani fell, defending our city without me, I vowed I would use the light to my last breath to save all lives I could. That call brought me to the Waken, uh, sh uh, the Waken Shores. And that is where the man Captain Travad and the Watcher Karanos found me and, I, and told me about Tyr. I found purpose in stories about his heroics. And so I am a recruit of Tears God now. Welcome, welcome. Come here, come here. This tear thing is bigger than the both of us. You need your big sister's help? Just say the word. Big sister. 
and she is young for a Cinderella troll, I guess. I have another question. Why are you an ex- Oh, sacrifice. It is because we trolls practice sa troll sacrifice. Lucky doubles her, her over laughing. <laughs> that was a joke. You would, you should have seen your face now. <laughs> oh, sacrifice may sound strange. Maybe self sacrifice or selflessness would be better. But you know these old organizations, tradition is tradition. Tyr never sacrificed anything or anyone but himself. He reminds me of Ravani. She sacrificed everything for her, the Zandalari. And I would have traded places with her in a heartbeat. I think I am the example of sacrifice because Trava, Tro, Trovard knows I will fight until my last breath. For my people and my new friends. Even Hardvin. <laughs> if anyone bothers you, you tell Nolaki, okay? God, I love these paladins. I love these guys. Oh, that is so cool. Also, just seeing like that... Uh, Rush buffer over there, just like poking through the bushes, was kind of creepy. And the rest, Talthis. A world without the Titan's influence, one pales at the thought. Anyway, I re I want to see if was Ravani, uh, the boss. In does our law. It was a raid, not a dungeon. Battle for the Zara Lore. Um, Champions of the Light. Yeah, that was Ravani. Oh, yo. Haha, <laughs> bit awkward, Nalaki. <laughs> Half of the player characters speaking to you have killed her. <laughs> that is cool. But it's also good that she doesn't have a grudge. <laughs> well met. It's an honor to make your acquaintance, Klinatu. I have heard all your ex uh, all about your exploits, righting wrongs and defending against chaos, darkness, and other uncivilized behaviors. <clears throat> He's a blood elf, all right. Former high elf. How did you become a member of Tyr's Guard? When I was young, I remember Silvermoon falling to the Scourge. My world was turned upside down. Later, the city was taken back and restored. But I still wanted to protect my city, my civilization. From that chaos and carnage, the threat still yet lingered in the Dread Scar. I looked on the light for guidance and strength against the Scourge. I joined the Blood Knights, but when, then wandered to the Dragon Isles, searching for others in need of, of safety and protection from the Primalist's chaos. When Travat found me, I was fighting at the Flash Frost Assault, trying to restore order there. He and Karanos assisted me and then told me of Tyr and Tyr's guard. And now I am here, and all is right with the world. Okay. Why are you the example of order? Some have had peaceful lives and may not see the value of order, but it does seem like we are often beset by forces of disorder and chaos and need more order in our lives. Oh my god, tell me about it. Like, <clears throat> out of character speaking, I'm not Klinata right here. Um... But seriously, like the house I came from, like the entire year 2022 and 2020 and the end of 2021, kind of. And like, you know, the whole of like 
2020 and beyond in the world of which I live in. Jesus, I cannot even begin to tell you. I know you're not Jesus. I mean, tell this, tell this. I cannot begin to tell you all the amount of disorder and all the order I would have wanted and yearned for in those times. Oh my goodness. The Titans will guide you. Study, practice, discipline. One must always strive to improve oneself. Okay, I love these guys. These guys should have a podcast. Anyway. Well met, Fortier. Welcome, Klinatu. Now that you're here at the Tears Guard training grounds, meet my recruit, uh, recruits. Now, Lucky, Hadwin, Valune, and Telthus. I already did. They're great people. I love them. By the end of the, their training, they will be full members of the Tears Guard and ready to assist with your, our mission to restore Tear. Tell me about the Tears Guard. How did you select these recruits? I already think I did the Tears Guard one. The Silver Hand representative, uh, representative here gave us the names of a few paladins, but none of them were what we were looking for. Karanos and I spent, uh, then spent many days wandering the Dragon Isles, looking for signs and stories of deeds befitting the virtues of Tyr. Nolaki, Hadwin, Valenai, and Talthus had each left a trail of good in their wake that led me to them. And when Karanos and I caught up with them, in each case we observed an intense commitment to the virtues that made Tyr the greatest of the Titan Keepers. Justice, order, compassion, and self-sacrifice. I mean, the greatest in the eyes of... Well, paladins, with a good heart, I guess. Because, I mean, to be fair, uh, Odin compare uh, Odin does not compare to anyone. He's a piece of he's a piece of censorship sound. Um, if you want to hear more, I'm sure they lo uh, each love to tell their story. I already said anyway. Reforging the Tears Guard. Until we meet again. Now that you're here, I can set. I can get started with my recruits' final trials. May Tear guide you. Uh, walking the path of Tear. Until we meet again. Yes. Anyway. Before they embark on their last training trial, it is a tradition that recruits first receive their Tears Guard gear. The highest ranking Tears Guard officer would normally do this, but I would be honored if you would bestow their tabard and shield on them for their final trial instead. Goodbye. They've all custom voice lines. Why is none of this voice acted? Everyone, listen up. This will be your last day as recruits. And your first day as members of the Tears Guard. But first, Klanatu will honor us by bestowing on you the armor of the Tears Guard before you embark on your last trial. A world without the Titan's influence. One pales at the thought. Here's your tablet and shield, Talthus. Talthus, your ongoing fight for order is admirable. May this tablet and shield protect you on your final trial. Thank you. I will keep this armor in good order and use it for further the cause of the Tears Guard. Did he keep his armor? I mean, he did change up his shield, I think. For tear in all things. Okay. Your armor change I will notice. But I kinda wanna also I can get an interview back. This tear thing is bigger than the both of us. No lucky. Your selflessness 
is inspiring. May your shield serve you as well as your selflessness serves the tears guard. Tia was the selfless one. He sacrificed himself for the prequel. I can only look up to his example. Okay, the armor doesn't change. It's literally just tabard and shield. I kind of love that. May Tia's sacrifice not have been in vain. I am always here if you Volun need me. Volne, like Tyr, you have great compassion for the weak. Protect them and do yourself with a shield. I will stand for the weak and innocent, just like Tyr. You look like a shaman, if I'm completely honest. Pleasure's all yours. Hardwin, like this shield, let your sense of right and wrong protect you as you serve Tyr. I became a paladin to fight for what is right. Now, as a part of the Tyr's guard, I'll do the same. Think on what is right. Or just think. A lot of people don't do that. <laughs> I love these guys so much. Walking the path of tear. May tear guide you. Thank you. Now our recruits would, should be ready for their final trials. Go to them. I am sure they will want your guidance in completing their missions. Goodbye. Ho! Whoa! 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 Okay. Okay. Who do we go with first? Shimini. Okay. I personally think. Vulane, Talthus, Hadwin, and then Nolaki. No because I am just really curious about you, and I want to save you for last. Um, the others I like equally, but I want to do the most interesting thing last. This will take a while. Chimini. Well met. Actually, yeah, I want to... I have found my purpose. To serve others by following Tyr. An exemplar of compassion. It makes my heart ache to see what the decay has done to some of the wildlife here. I cannot save all the creatures that live around Brackenhide Hollow, but I wish for my trial to at least have some. In a cave to the west, there is a family of bear bears that has recently been corrupted. I believe I can fl uh, fight my way there and heal them. Will you help me? I hope I have helped you. I must you. do something to... Okay, bye. To save the creatures here from the Nolds. Decay. I'll do them one by one. Not pick up all the same. Because I want to have them in order. Okay, where did then the world did, you went over there, okay. The Knoll presence is a blight upon our lands. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Heard you for the first time. For reasons like this, I would like if there would be an option to, like turn off the voice lines of the things. Everyone deserves compassion. Everyone. The bears are inside. The cubs grow more corrupted by the minute. You must act, quick, act quickly. I am I'm always ready. here. The nords are gone me. for now, but keep alert. They may come back at any moment. You're cleansed, little one. Now run far from here. I think I heard a null cackling. We may have company soon. My clan spell does not seem to be strong enough for their mother. Perhaps if I lay on hands her, I can counteract the decay. It's working. The decay is gone. I can see... Oh, jeez. I can see she is regaining her strength. Another null. Keep it away. 
while I saved the last cub. I feel called to help innocence. I feel called to help innocence, like these cups. That is why I was inspired to follow the path of Tear. I could not have done this without you. I'm going to see if the, uh, if see if I can help more creatures. Here. Then I will meet you at the camp. Okay, so it's one quest per. That's cool. Then I can actually... I thought it would be a quest line per character. But I mean, this is actually makes it a bit easier. Still would have liked voice, voice acting here. I have found my purpose, to serve others by following Tyr. Tyr's compassion for the Rico inspires me. I think we, he would have compassion for animals too, do you not? They suffer and feel pain just as you or I would. Thank you for helping me save those bears. Even a little compassion goes a long way. I hope I have helped you. Honored. If you don't want it done to you, then don't do it. It's really that simple. Yeah, it is. A few gnolls have spread more decay or harm more innocence than Rotpaw. Example of justice, Hedwin. We've been out here for a good bit of time. Time enough for me to watch the gnolls around here. Gnolls are usually a nuisance, but the decay, gnoll, decay gnolls are in Brackenhide Hollow. The decay doesn't just warp their bodies, it warps their minds too. Decaymonger Rotpa is the worst of them. She's indiscriminate on, in who or what she spreads her decay to. She unwilling uh, the unwilling of her people travelers animals children if there's any justice in this world she should be taken down what not not I'm going to sparkling personality uh, knock some old skulls together maybe knock some sense into them meet you out there okay um hold on let me Dungeons, Dragonflight, Dragonite Hollow, the Catriarch, Wrath Eye. I mean, she survives the encounter, so she's still out there. Study, practice, Exemplar discipline. of order. Toughest. One must always strive to improve oneself. I know why Trava chose this area for our training. The decay here is chaotic and disordered. Things that here and the Titans are not. The nearby Nolds revel in the decay, revolting. They have taken over territory that was once occupied by the proud, noble, and civil Tuscar. The Tuscar have asked that relics they had to abandon I return to them. Please help help me fi fight the Nolds and retrieve the relics so the Tuscar can continue their ritual to Nascara. Walk always in the light. The Nolds have driven out the Tuscar, throwing their lives into upheaval. I am going to restore what order I can. You need your big sister's help? Just say the word. Much is said about how decay spreads through the air and ground, but it also spreads through the water. Slimes that live in the rivers and streams ooze pestilence. The water is toxic with it. But if we wade in, in and kill the big one, the poison in the water will diminish. It may poison me in the process, but I am going to kill one of its... Uh, one of it's the last thing I do. This place needs a purging. Are you with me? 
That is a bit. Mm, okay. Light bless you. I can smell that slime. It is close. <gasps> oh, she got a doe friend. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Okay, gonna go hard win, Talthis, not lucky. Find no lucky is optional. I find it funny that finding your quest part, uh, your quest guy, is optional in this one. Oh, that is optional, but only for her. So, so much meat. Uh, meat runs to decay. Uh, meat, uh, make good rot. Mm. Your time has come, Rotpa. Time to pay what's due for the evil you've spread. Decay takes Rotpa. Decay takes all. <coughs> You'll never spread your decay again, Rotpa. I'm glad to be the one who brought you to justice. I see few of Rodpa's followers skulking about. I'll meet you back at the camp when I'm done with them. The find no lucky optional is worrying me. One pales at the thought. You just stand here. Practice. I have gathered Discipline. a few of the relics. One must always strive to improve. The myself. task I left behind. Can you bring me any you find as well? I will take them to Skara. The Titans will guide you. An excellent start, Luna, to get a, a couple more, and I'll take what you, uh, what you and I have gathered back to the Tuscar. You're just standing there. I mean, to be fair, it is a collecty quest. Then the NPC really doesn't need to be running around to canonically do his part. I wish the Nolds had returned them to us willingly, Klanatu, but uh, we can't be blamed for their choices. We must restore order. Well met. Give some to them. In some small way, order has been restored. Two would be pleased. I forgot to read what he said because I thought it was the same. Well, then I noticed, well, hold on, this is a bit shorter. Okay, I hate that it says optional. This worries me. Well She's alive. Well come here, come here. Why is that optional? There it is. Destroy it before it spreads more of its filth. Your decay will go no further, you nasty team. No, it slammed me. I can move. I can't move. Kill the little ones. Ugh, thank you for helping me, Klaatu, but let's not let the others tell about uh, me getting slimed. I'll never hear the end of it. Bit of pride, bit of pride. The Noel presence is a blight upon our I lands. I know, I noticed. I literally noticed. Okay, you have no extras. You have no extras, and you have no extras. Okay, okay, okay. Pleasure's all yours. <sighs> An exemplar of justice. Think on what is right. Perhaps I a oh, bit off a bit think. more than I could chew. Little people don't do that. But with your help, Rotpa and her ilk paid for their crimes. Paid for their crimes. If you don't want it done to you, then don't do it. It's really that simple. Study, practice, discipline. One must always strive to the improve Nulls, oneself. The Nolds had no right to those relics. They belong to the Tuscar. Relic I left behind when the Nolds drove out the Tuscar. For tear in all things, a world without the Titan's influence. One pale. I'm at glad the that 
Uh, we could restore these relics to the Tuscar. It feels good to impose some semblance of order on the chaos of decay. Walk always in the light. This tear thing is bigger than the both of us. Thank you for stopping those smaller slimes, Knatu. I was able to kill the big one, but I should still be there if it weren't here for your aid. But I would still be there. If anyone bothers you, you tell Nolaki, okay? Ye, yeah. Nolaki, best big sis. Greetings. Four Until tier. we meet again. Did they all complete their trial successfully? Good. I'm sure you played no small part in that. There's one final step we need to take before I can formally induct our recruits as full-fledged members of the Tears Guard. The Tears Guard Initiation Ceremony. It would make me proud if you stood with us on the steps of Tearhold as I f formally reforged the Tears Guard. Will you join us? That just reminds me of... Oh god, what was the name? I forgot the name. The name of the game where you join an order. Like, you can play as a dwarf, as an elf, or as a human, and you can join an order. Uh, like, you join an order uh, to defeat Darkspawn. And uh, basically what happens is uh, you join the order and you find out, oh, by the way, the initiation ritual is literally drink some poison and try to survive. And like, I think you even end up being one of the few only survivors. Of No, I think you're the only survivor of, of the initiation. Initiation. May Tear guide you. Recruits move out. Our true mission continues to tear a tear hold. I am glad we could bring some order to this place, but I look forward uh, forward to our actual mission. Yes, we may be able to restore the compassionate tear to our world. Compassion. I think this uh, his first order of business will be justice, and it's about time. Uh, but you said ordered first. That is always Tyr's primary concern. Whether it is order or justice, Tyr will stand for it no matter the cost. You do not think his gentle guidance and wise counsel are important? We do, but it seems like there are more urgent things, right? More urgent things, right? We don't know what his priorities are if we get uh, don't get to tear hold just talking more walking people <laughs> uh, like it wouldn't be such an issue for me if it if I would have to read if it would be at a speed I'm comfortable with and not just like brrr, text wall here the NPCs are long gone and have long done their RP. And uh, now you have time to read. I can use those. Oh, there's another over there. I should be able to catch that one. Ha 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 ha! Oh yes! Oh, I love that I actually made it. Welcome, welcome. Come here, come here. I love these guys. Okay. Well met. Thank you for coming, Kanatu. Are you ready to begin the ceremony? I'm ready. Though I wished for some voice acting. Goodbye. Oh, tell this. No lucky. Hedwin, Valune, come forward. I am proud to stand with you this day, and proud that you have come to embody the spirit of Tyr's legacy. Order, sacrifice, justice, and compassion. As captain of the Tyr's Guard, I welcome you to our ranks. 
may the light bless our mission. For Tyr! For Tyr! Ooh, sparkle. Wait, hold on. Did their colors change? Yo! You need your big sister's help? Just say the word. Their color's changed. Let's go. Fortier. The Tears Guard stands once again. I feel both renewed and very old. They still have much to learn, and I have much to teach them. Now, under the task of recovering Tears' memories. Until we meet again. Now let's get, get to work tracking down the disc. I can't believe that after thousands of years, we are so close to seeing Tyr return. Much less that I will have a hand in it. We shouldn't meet with Chromie and Eternus inside. They'll tell us what to do next. May Tyr guide you. Please, voice actor. Champion! Trevard! You're back! And just in time. Eternus and Nosdormu are ready to track Tyr's disc. Yes. In your absence, Eternus and I have used the Silver Scale and Infinite Magic to track the disks fall through the timeways. Each portal is a gateway to a timeway relevant to Tyr. A time of his victory, a time of his defeat, and a time bereft of his influence. Taking a beacon and placing one at each of these moments in time and space will show us where Tyr's disk rests. I will leave that to you, champion, and the Tyr's guard. Take the beacons and find the location of Tyr's disk. A bereft of his influence. <laughs> it's like meeting again for the first time. Huh. You're back just in time. We've determined where Tyr's guard needs to, uh, to place the beacons. Check it. Uh, check in with Eternus, and we are ready when you are. It's been a pleasure. I'm getting tired. I mean, no wonder. Today was a really stressful day at work. Time is set in sand. I mean, just as well as yesterday. Not the stone. Past few days were uh, stressful, but today we had a lot of people missing <laughs> because of sickness. The portals are ready, and the sooner you, uh, your team drops those beacons, the sooner we can get to the location of the disc. How you deploy your forces is up to you, and Trovard. We have three portals and five tiers guard. May All right, people, form up. Talthis, Valune, take the right portal. Aye, Captain. Yes, yes Nolaki, take the left portal. Ah, oh, you put me with this brute again? Brute? Oh, I see how it is. Yeah, well, this brute will kill more of whatever's behind that portal than you. Korinos, I think it's best you stay behind and guard the portal with our dragon friends. But champion, you and I are going straight down the middle. Good luck, Trovard. Good luck, champion. For tier. I thought we would go through the other tiers guard people. That would be cool. Maybe we have to save their butts. Oh. Defeat? Victory? Probably the victory. Gonna assume victory. Beacon of activation. Are we in a different... This tier... Oh! This is Tyr's Temple of Order. Be on your guard. There is no way to know what we'll find here. Titanium Vanguard. The Prime Designate! 
insist you leave the site. The prime designate. That sounds like Odin is trying to prevent Tyr's resurrection. It turns demonstrated for me how the be the beacons worked. I just need some time. I just need a moment. Winter Scorn Recall. But these are iron, right? The Prime Designate will prevail. We defeat a Loken. Yeah, and it's also these guys. Cures of Flesh. Infection Vector detected. No directives to do random variable. Powering now. Just press the button, turn said. But where is the button? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Defeat acknowledge. This uh, unit has failed to deploy. Yeah, these are appropriate for this location. But isn't the prime designate Odin? Has he taken over the Loken's will is eternal. Nope, never mind. They mean Loken. I'll get the beacon activated. You keep the servants of Loken busy. Thanks for watching my back. I'll be honest, I wasn't sure if I was going to get that beacon to work. Let's get back to Tyrold. Hopefully the Tears Guard will be waiting. I have the feeling they don't. I have the feeling there was a, it was always supposed to be voice acted. Slowly but surely. Oh no, they're all... Uh-oh. Half of them are missing. I don't like that. Hold on. Yeah, okay, they too managed. J uh, sacrifice and... The root. <laughs> Managed. Uh oh. I always have time for you. Welcome back. Eternus said there was a signal from your beacon, so I assume a thing went smoothly. From our beacon, yes. Is this goodbye or? You're back. Hello? Did you activate the beacon? After track. some difficulties, yes. Another beacon set. Give me three, my friend. I give you five, and you can keep the change. Perhaps you, we should not uh, celebrate yet. Volney and Tothus haven't returned. Kernus is right. There's no signal from uh, from Third Beacon. I'll give you five, and you can keep the change. <laughs> Greeting. Jeez. Volney and Tothus still aren't back. They must have had trouble with their beacon. We can't find the disc without it. And if there is no way to help the, from here, we must lead the Tears Guard through the port, their portal to help. Are you ready? I think that was vi Loken's victory. You two went to vi uh, Loken's defeat, I am assuming. No, that was bereft of Loken's influence, I think. So I guess you two went to... You two must have gone to def uh, to Loken's defeat. Where he died, like where he sacrificed himself. Because we've already seen that, and visiting that again would be weird. Goodbye. They must have run into trouble if they weren't back right on our heels. We need to help them. We're going to go help them, right? Of course, we do uh, do what we must. Uh, for tier and for the tears guard for the tears guard. Let's go mm. Okay Is this Jabbard, champion Valonay has fallen prey to a faceless one. I can't get through to her. We'll protect the beacon go and help Valonay 
Oh, jeez. There's nothing I hate fight, uh, hate fighting more than disgusting abominations like these. Hard one, I'm pretty sure I've killed more than you so far. Um, oh, there she is. My commander, you once saved my life. Let me save yours. Come with me. Stay a while, Valone. I have another mission for you. Come closer, child. Talthus is right. This can't be it's your friend. It's you away from the beacon. Away from us. You should resist. resist it, Valone. For light's sake. Yeah, compassion can be a weakness that it can get... Yeah. May resist? This is my commander. She will prove it. Eriska, tell them what you would say to me when you would catch me daydreaming. Hmm, I would say... Foolish Draenei, I will end you. Eriska? No. I... I... Must end you, sister. You, okay, the faceless one really just gave up. Faceless one, you preyed on my compassion for my friend. How did I fall for that creature's lies? I... need time. I'm going back, champion. We have this in hand, Valene. We will rally back at Tearhold. I will help guard the beacon. Champion, hold off that monster! Well met. I'm curious if you would have understood. Hmm. If you would have understood them. Um, if you had this guy on. Nazoth's gift. Oh, we are right. Oh God. Ah. Oh, oh. This is love. Um, there are so many of them. Nothing I hate for more than these. Nothing to, uh, to them except tentacles and entropy. I suppose, uh, and darkness, I suppose. <coughs> okay, you don't understand them, Chad. There, the beacon is activated. Fine work, Travad, and thank you for helping us keep the Faceless at bay. Not yet. Return to, um, can we leave this, uh, in the secret class now? No, return to Tearhold and Lechromi and Eternus No, we've been successful. We'll stay here and take, sh uh, and make sure the beacon isn't destroyed before they get a signal. Fortier. All of them are back. We're... Come, stand with me. We're ba uh, all back in one piece, thank the light. Now hopefully your dra our dragon friends can find that disc. Until we meet again. The last beacon signal is strong. In a moment I will have the disc's location. Anything I can help with us? No, we just need to patience as... Uh, the devices and the and their work, Travot, will be ready when the time comes, I trust. We just need patience as the devices and the spell do their work. Okay, that way is better. Gilded armor? We were successful, but we barely made it back from our battle with the Black Empire. Eternus is still divining the location of the disc and while the she and while she does I like to ask a favor I have unwavering faith in my recruits but I'm worried about Valenay 
I would speak to her, but I don't want to appear as though I think she has failed us. Talk to her and make sure she is alright. It may also be a good idea to check in with the rest of the Tears Guard as well. Goodbye. I mean, that was basically the all end all and doom all of all paladins' nightmares. So. Troll, orc, human. We're all the same, really. I love that you say that. Especially as a Kulturan. Nolaki and I didn't realize it, but we had it dead easy. It doesn't seem fair, really. Talthus and Valene got a hole full of tentacles and Black Empire morass, and we got elementals? I'm going to smell like sulfur for ages, but Valene, I can't imagine what she's going through. Weird. Elementals? Defeat? Was the Logan the defeat part? And the Black Empire the bereft of influence part? And the Elementals the victory part? Hmm. But I'm okay. In fact, it makes me want to fight harder. That battlefield was in a world untouched by tear or the light's blessing. Okay. The only rule was that the fittest survived. It made me realize a world without tear is a world without justice. And that this just his justice is worth fighting for. What? Not impressed by my sparkling personality? Well met. I'm worried about my recruits, but maybe I should be worried about myself. We're forming the Tears Guard has been a kind of catharsis, but I'm worried that it may be too much, uh, too much so. I was devastated by the loss of my comrades in the Tears Guard. I worry that I may be pushing them too hard, or myself. I've been at this a long time, Konatu. But to see Tyr alive once more gives me purpose. I just hope wisdom comes with my age, and I do right by my new recruits, and that they all come home. May Tyr guide you. A world without the Titan's influence. One pales at the thought. When we first arrived, I was paralyzed by what I saw around me. A place that was all void, no light. No trace of the Titan's order. It was writhing and squishy. Tethys looks nauseated by the thought of squishy. <laughs> Imagine just walking, you walk on flesh. <laughs> but Valenay was not bothered. She set the beacon up, but then she was called away by that thing. She should have kept her mind on the mission. Those were our orders. Still, I know she feels awful. I should speak to her. For Tear in all things. This Tear thing is bigger than the both of us. You ask me if I'm okay? Are you ask if I'm ready? Klinatu, did you see what that Blake Empire mess did to our Valonae? To my sister in Tear's guard? Oh no, that cannot stand. That is why we follow the light, and why we follow Tyr and the Titans. That scourge has no place here. And if we bring B Tyr back, we will bring back, uh, bring light to every corner of Azeroth. There will be no place the Void can hide. Then, uh, when Eternus finds the disc, I'll be the first to go after it. I raise my shield for the light. I raise the shield for my brothers and sisters. I raise my shield for Tear. Light bless you. Tough woman got this. Everyone deserves compassion. Everyone. Seeing Ariska again, she was my mentor and like a sister to me. 
I know that she was an illusion, but having to strike her down, I am shaken to my very center. My heart aches. Not just for Riska, but that I let my guard down. Talthus could have been killed. The beacon could have been destroyed. I have always thought my compassion was a strength, but is it a weakness? No. Tyr had compassion. It was his strength. I must be more wary. The void is treacherous and will come in many forms. But I am ready. I will be fine. I hope I have helped you. I r There's so much void stuff going on. I mean, sure, the dragon's history is kind of connected to it. The whole titan thing. Seeing all know. of time is my fate. Speak to tear after all the centuries. And my curse. The one path Captain Travis has proven to be, be a preserved. good leader. I can see that his recruits respect him and have become powerful paladins under his training. I just hope it's not enough. I'm glad you, uh, I just hope it's enough. I'm glad you'll be here to, to help. Take care of yourself out I'm there. And doing the damage that is wrought, throwing Tears disc into uh, to the time ways will heal one rift between the infinites and the dr bronze dragon flight. But true peace will take more than that. Remember, some rules are meant to be broken. Well, I don't know. Thank you for helping. For the good of Dragonkind. For Tyr. But, like, it just seems like there's a lot of void stuff going on in comparison, you know. I don't know, it feels like leading up to Void Expansion. I'm glad to hear you were able to speak to her. It sounds like she is ready despite what happened. A lesser person would have not been able to pick themselves up after that. But Valenae is stronger than many of us realize. As soon as it turns look at the disc, we will be ready. Until I almost have it. The disc. It is in the Nighthold. The Nighthold? Will it then be difficult to recover? That depends on when. The Nighthold is in Suramar, a great and ancient city and the home of the Nightborn. I sense a presence with the disc. A powerful one. Elisand! Oh, that could be a problem. She's a powerful master of magic and would know the disc's power. She may not want to let it go. Trevard, I would take time to prepare before retrieving the disc. Elisande will be a dangerous foe. I will have the champion at my side, but I agree. The Tears Guard needs to rest and recover before we face another battle. We'll be ready when you're ready, Trevard. We'll get Tyr back. Tyr's guard, before we went to Reckoning Karanos and I worked to set up headquarters for our order just south of here. I call it Tyr's Rest. Follow me there. D we didn't we had a Tyr's Rest already? It should be excellent place to train and prepare for our incursion into Suramar and confrontation with Alessand. Of course, you're welcome to join us. Not to. Thing is, welcome. Oh welcome. my God! Come here, come here. I have found my Each and every one have their own. Oh, I love. Okay, so this is where the story for now ends? Question mark. But I think there's more going on. More th thingings going on.